Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, trying to straighten out my camera. Um, I'm going to apologize now for my 18 by 24 inch canvas not quite fitting the whole entire monitor screen so you can't see everything. But I'm going to use a shovel. I'm going to put Anita's white metallic base under my colors. And then I'm going to add colors to float on top of it. And I'm going to bear in mind that they're there. They, I can use them again. That was the Golden Hour from Arteza, which is a metallic or pearl. This was a, I think this was an iridescent from Arteza. And I finished up a bottle. I have no more, so I'm going to use it here. Might save some of that. This is my Artist Loft Turquoise which is called cobalt blue, but it's a metallic and it needs to be cleaned out, obviously. But I'm liking these colors. I'd like that to be open. I really, really would, so I'm going to take a minute to do that. Well, maybe less than a minute, but we'll see. One of these days I'm going to stab my hand with a skewer and I'm not going to be happy about it. I generally try and use my tweezers because they're really nice and sharp. They're on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is on the link tree. The link tree is the first blue link, unless I'm showing you tools under the video. Well, I think I got that at least well enough so it would work. I think. I thought wrong. There's something plugging it up. So I'm just going to pour it and then try and deal with that in a few minutes. I'm going to use some of my electric blue from Arteza, which obviously needs a shake. I like the white in between. I really don't want to get rid of it all. This is Pink Diamond from Color Art. It's a prism pour. I want some purple, and my favorite purples are the Amethyst from Artist Loft and the Purple Flash from Folk Art. I'm going to throw a little more. Anita's right in my corner. I suspect I am going to use all of this color. I have some sapphire. Sapphire prism pour. That's new. It's very similar. Wow. It's very similar to another color. I'm going to throw some dioxazine purple in there too. Just to give it some oomph. I promised some of this color shifting purple from Folk Art. What else do I want in there? I think I can live with that. I really want more of that turquoise though. Here goes nothing. Wish me luck. I'm going to throw my tweezers in the bucket since they've got paint all over them. That is just the refuse lid from something. Clean my hands off a little bit so they're not going to stick to the canvas. That might be a good thing. Now, my diagonal, I sort of want it to be... Well, we'll just have to try it and see how far it's going to go. No dust, please. I probably could have drawn some lines. Maybe I should have. <laughs> hmm. I 
don't know why I'm worrying about this now. So what do I want next? I haven't tried this before. I want some really dark color in there right now. That's what I'm being called to. Also want to use my skewer to straighten out my diagonal. Maybe I'll like this more as I go along. I'm going to put some Prussian blue in there. Helps if the turntable is not turning. I'm going to rest that for a moment. Make a minor adjustment for my skewer. I really could put the skewer right down in the edge and pull it through anywhere I want. Usually I like things that are a little more organic, but I'm not so sure how this is going to go. Also, this last one was pretty heavy on the paint. kind of want to go on the other side, but I'm also thinking orange would be good, some real orange. So I'm going to try and work my way. Come on, turn. <laughs> yeah. That one I'm definitely going to fix. Just using a little piece of acetate. Not even sure how I'm going to like this yet. But so far so good. I didn't use any of this and I'd like to. So I'm going to put some. And it, like some of my other things I just used, is not open. Usually I like the little skipping parts of the shovel pours, but this is not that. So I'm going to just keep messing with it until I figure out new ways to do things. I'm dragging the skewer down through. Or in this case up and then back. Kind of paint will flow to paint, so if I don't try and level it out, it'll probably level out on its own. I'm kind of hoping anyway. So far, so good. I want a bunch of white. I'm thinking about copper. I want something really, really dramatic. That one was easier because it's on the edge. I 
I was planning on putting my toothy tool through here, but I don't think it's a good idea because the paint is so heavy. And this is just taking like way longer. I'll know better the next time. I'll have learned something from doing this. go back to the beginning. I do like what the acetate will do. That should be up there. I'm pretty sure you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. Come on back. My it. My turntable brake is working really super well. <laughs> I'm having an impossible time turning anything. Let's scrape off. I think being right handed is not helping me right now because I need to do things in a way that being right handed doesn't lend itself to. Just drag that skewer right along. I'm going to take the brake out for right now, hoping I remember where to grab it. I just want to swipe through everything. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to do it left handed, and that might be really, really not going to work. Let's see. I am not left handed. I definitely need that break back. So long as it doesn't fall in the paint dish, we should be okay. If I hadn't known that the skewer was going to help me out, I don't think I probably would have taken that left-handed risk. I have something I'm supposed to... Huh. This is stressful. I thought it was going to be easier because I'm sort of used to shovel pours, but it's not. Trying to do a geometric with a shovel is uh, a tall order, honestly, it turns, as it turns out. I want to do it with my right hand. How do I do this with my right hand? I don't. So I'm just going to come back over here. I got three minutes left. So far so good. I'm still okay. I'll have to figure out what happens to the end of this some other way. Maybe I'll just do a part two with all kinds of other things added on. Hard telling not knowing yet.
nice thing about a dry canvas is being able to use a damp cloth to wipe it off sometimes. Like a short, short skewer. I don't want to change the pattern too much by doing that. I've only got the one left to do. Shall I try it? I don't really even have enough paint left to do it. So what that means to me is I put some in the shovel. Okay, haha, <laughs> I'm nervous. Let's mix that up just a little bit. It appears to me that I need another stripe over here. one I can do. I just had a really nice piece of short skewer. That I was enjoying using quite a bit and it's disappeared on me. I've got two minutes to tell you guys I do sell my artwork and if you'd like to reach me use my email address. It's directly under the link tree which is the second blue link under the video depending on whether there's tools under there or not. This will work. Suffice it to say, I will not be worried about a tar part two until I become inspired in a minute. So this is probably it. Because I haven't even really had a chance to take, you know, to stand back and look at it. But I'm not unhappy. It could be a lot worse, in fact. But I am going to take all of the paint out of my shovel. And let it go right down that edge. Perfect. Okay, it is what it is. I'm not going to say it's easy. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I just noticed my stripes are crooked. <laughs> okay then. Darn it. Well, I guess there will be part two. Not sure what I'm going to do, but it's probably not going to look anything like this in a moment. It's a little less crooked now. I'm going to try and zoom in. I haven't torched. It looks kind of cool from up here. I love you guys. Please look at my link tree, pixels.com, Fine Art America, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, The Gallerist Clothing Made in Montreal, Society6 merch that's awesome, my Amazon link, two, two books are there because I can and unlimited possibilities, both mine, volumes one and two, the first hundred and second hundred videos. Thank you for the donation donations that help keep me painting. Please look on the end screen video for the for the um, prizes on at the beginning of the exhibition video and donate through PayPal to get an automatic invitation to get in the monthly drawing which happens at the beginning of the month. Spring clothing is under the video. It's all over prints. I have 2200 videos. If you need a link just ask me. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida and I sell my artwork. You can get in touch with me using my email address under the link tree EASPB like my initials the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I do give lessons at the house. Did I say that? If you have questions, please ask me. If you're looking for my paint pouring recipes under the video, I will see you guys anon. I'm kind of messed with this in a minute. I'm not sure what's going to happen. But uh, just know that I love you, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Did I say my paint pouring recipes under the video? Open show more. You'll find it. Bye for now. I love you. You inspire the heck out of me. Keep coming back. 1 p.m. every day, Eastern Standard Time. See ya. And on.